Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and today as part of our equipment series I'm going to talk to you about slicker brushes and actually I'm going to be very specific today and I'm going to talk about the new carbon slicker brush by Chris Christensen. Um, I want to talk to you about a lot of things because I don't want people to get confused out there. Obviously with Leading Edge Dog Show Academy we have a ton of tutorials. You might be one of our students and have a curated shopping list for your breed that might include a big K slicker, it might include a big G, or it might include one of our Mark slickers. And as things evolve and update, some of those might change to the new carbon slicker. And I want to tell you why that's going to happen or maybe for your breed why that won't happen, right? Okay, so first of all, let's break it down. Um, most of you by now are probably familiar with the big G slicker. It's the number one um, grooming brush in the world used by salon groomers all over the world, known quite affectionately as the doodle brush, but I love to use it on my poodles for volumizing, dematting, uh, coat change, all of those kinds of things. Like this is a really, really fantastic brush. Uh, sometimes it's called the coral brush. We're perfectly fine with that. And it comes in three sizes, right? Big, medium, and baby. Then quickly we have the sister brush, the K. The difference between the K and the G is that for every single size, the K has 30% less pins than the G. Some people use the K as a personal preference. Uh, personally, the difference for me is I'm gonna use this as my de-shedding brush, um, and this is my detangling brush, right? Then moving on, we also have the Mark Slicker series. There's, there's nine different marks. Um, they all have this natural wood color. They all have a gray pin pad and they all have a 12 millimeter pin. So if we look at the G and the K, they have this big 27 millimeter pin. The Mark has a 12 millimeter pin. So I quite often would recommend the Mark for a lot of your dog show needs, right? A lot of times, if we're not de-shedding and we're not detangling or dematting, uh, we don't need a brush that is as much brush um, as a GRK. We went to the mark with the 12 mil millimeter pin. We got the volume we wanted out of it. We could groom the legs, etc., etc. Now, um, as somebody who is fortunate enough to work with product ideation and a great product development team, uh, we wanted to come out with a brush that was maybe between these two. Maybe I needed a little bit more volumizing, a little bit more detangling power, a little bit more brush to help me get through my standard poodle's coat um, than a 12 millimeter pin. But when I went to the 27 millimeter pin, it just seemed like too much brush, right? Especially for my poodle puppies. Like I had a six month old poodle puppy or an American Cocker. And it just seemed like the 12 millimeter pin was great, but I felt that I could use have a brush that did maybe a bit more than that, but maybe the G or the K was a bit too big, right? So um, I was, basically kind of looking for the Goldilocks brush, right? I, you know, one was a little bit too firm and one was a little bit too soft. So I was lucky enough to work with our team and we came up with the carbon. So the carbon has a 17 millimeter pin, which allows it to do a little bit more detangling, a little bit more volumizing, do a little bit more work for me than a Mark Slicker, um, but it wasn't quite so aggressive as a GRK. Um, the carbon slickers are absolutely fantastic. They come in the same kind of close to natural color as the Mark, but they have a distinctive black pin cushion as opposed to the gray on the Mark. And all, there's four currently carbon brushes. They come in the three sizes, the extra small, the small and the medium as well they come in a small red. So what we did is we took the most popular sizes um, of the mark and we just recreated them in the carbon to see how 
they would go over. Um, you know, for the pet parent, for that dog show world, obviously you can use them in the salon, but really that is where I came from when I recommended them. So when you're looking at a curated shopping list from myself or Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and you're wondering why this has changed from a GRK or a Mark to a Carbon, it's because we did need that Goldilocks brush, right? We did need something that was in between these two brushes. Personally, I'm, I'm probably biased. I'm gonna come straight out and say it because I did have so much um, put into this brush personally, right? Like I really thought of the pin length and really thought that it would do great. I love the luxurious feel. It just even feels really soft to the touch. Um, it, you can have that same feel when you're going through your dog's coat. Um, it just feels like it's doing a fantastic job. And personally, I'm a huge fan. So um, please look for the genuine carbon brush. It's going to say carbon on the back of the brush. Another way to tell that it is the carbon is that both the Mark and our G and our K come in this plastic packaging, but we did move to a more sustainable, better for the environment packaging for the carbon in this um, cardboard sustainable product, right? You can still see the brush head in the packaging, but when you're looking for the carbon, this is what it looks like. Still has that same crisp touch of that ergonomic handle that we all love. Still has the groomer grip, you know, on our red brush as well. So we really love that. So I just wanted to take a moment and just explain to everybody why we have a brush that is a little bit different and why you might see a personal recommendation from me change from a GRK to the carbon brush. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, please just send me an email and I'll help you with a brush recommendation. Thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought. And as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.